I'm very excited that we are in a new year 2021 and we are blessed to be here guys let's count our blessings we are blessed to be here right and I'm very excited because this year I just have so many so many recipes and I'm so excited to bring them to you which is gonna be a lot of international foods and, and drinks and desserts you know that you could serve to your loved ones from your heart right also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, guys, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button right here, right here, right here, and that like button if you like what you see, and also the bell button, guys, that's gonna let you know every time I upload a new video, which is every Friday and Sunday, all right? So, from my kitchen to your kitchen, where everything is done with love guys let's get started okay guys we are getting ready to make this plant-based empanada and also cheese empanadas okay so let's get started with these ingredients first is our empanada disc that you could buy at any supermarket lately especially walmart okay usually bring 10 in a pack we have the whole oregano, we have achote oil, we have onion uh, powder, garlic powder, black pepper, olives, tomato sauce, sofrito. If you don't know how to make sofrito, I have the link below. Okay, also we have our plant-based chorizo, okay, it's a Spanish sausage. And this is pretty good, guys. This is good product. Again, you could buy at Walmart. Most supermarkets carry it now. I have some diced potatoes. As you can see, very small, guys. Very small bites potatoes. And we have that not beef bouillon, which is a vegan beef flavor. It's meatless. It's a very good product, guys. You can find it on the internet. Um, places like Whole Foods and play and things like that so let's get started so here in my frying pan I'm adding some achote oil remember it's plant-based so it doesn't have any fat so we need a little bit of fat to make sure it doesn't stick and again you add a little bit at a time and you will see as you go if you need more. So here I'm adding my whole package of the chorizo. And guys, when I tell you this recipe is really, really good, it's really good. Okay, here I'm adding garlic powder. It doesn't have any salt, so guess what? You can add as much as you want. I have onion powder. You could add as much as you want. Now I'm going to go ahead and start crushing some of my oregano. I like using the whole oregano and crush it. It releases very good flavors. I don't like it already crushed. And also, oregano is very good for your health, guys. I love oregano. Love using it. Now I'm adding some black pepper. Again, every ingredients you could play with, you could add more or take away, it is up to you to make it yours. So here I decided to add more, a little bit of cayenne pepper because chorizo is usually a little spicy. I just want a little more spicy. All right, now I'm about to add that not beef bouillon. You only need one package, one little cube, and it's really good. And it dissolves very quickly as well. Very good product. Now I'm about to add about three tablespoons of my sofrito. Again, it doesn't have any salt. So guess what? You could add as much as you like, okay? 
So now I'm stirring it, making sure that all my seasonings are even out and dancing together. Look how beautiful those colors are coming along. Beautiful, beautiful. And those smells in the kitchen, guys, smell really, really, really good. <laughs> Okay, so I decided at this point, after I stir it, I'm going to add just a little bit more of that achote oil. Achote oil is really, you heat up a little bit of oil and add the annatto seeds to it and let it sit for a few minutes and then let it cool off and you strain it and you have achote oil. But here... You see, that's that's good. That's really good. So I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. And then I'm going to come back to it. Now, as you can see, it already start browning up a little bit. Again, guy, the whole time you cook this chorizo, do it at medium-low fire. Okay? So now I'm adding my diced potatoes. And we are going to stir it. Really, really, really good here, guys. Really good. Look how beautiful those the color on the potato that I um I chopped the oil. You see that? It coats and it's also going to help with the cooking of your potatoes as well. And like I said, like all together, probably was like two tablespoons of the achote oil. It's not that much oil at all. So here I'm stirring it so all the ingredients could blend in. And I'm going to go ahead and let it brown up a little bit more for a few more minutes. Now here, as you can see, our potatoes are pretty much cooked. And it has browned up again the whole time. It has been cooking at medium low. You do not want your veggie meat to burn. So I'm adding here my tomato sauce with a little bit of water at a time. Stir it, make sure that it is even out all through your pan. I added at this point only a half a can of tomatoes, I believe. No, I did. I add the whole full can. And then here I also added a few of the cut up owlets. You don't have to, you could you could leave this out if you don't like olives or you know. It's all your choice, or you could add more olives. It's all your choice, guys. But when I tell this recipe, I have made it for non-meat eaters and meat eaters, and both of them have walked away very satisfied, loving those empanadas. So this is one dish you could learn when you're having little get-togethers in the house and Make it for both of your friends, your vegans and your meat eaters, and everybody will be happy and satisfied. This is the final product, and look how beautiful and thick that looks. So usually I put this away and let it cool off before I start making my empanadas, okay? But this is done. And this is the cheese, the vegan cheese that you could use. It's pretty good. So we're going to get started. Um, while I was making my chorizo empanadas, I thought I was recording for some reason didn't record. So the process you see me here, just using one tablespoon of cheese, that's the same process you do with your chorizo, one tablespoon of your chorizo, and you start building your empanadas. So here I'm going to go ahead with my fingers, wetting it, and 
dampen half of the disc, the edges. This is gonna work as a glue bonding for you. And this process is very important so your empanadas do not open up on you when you're cooking it. So you add the water and very little, not a lot of water, guys, just enough to create like a book, like a glue bonding. And as you can see here, I'm pressing it down pretty hard with my fingers. I want to make sure it's glued together. Take your time. Make sure the edges are meeting each other. And the more you do this, the faster you'll do it. But if this is your first time, take your time. Learn it. Learn the process the correct way. And everything else will come as repetition. Again, I'm pressing down pretty hard with my fingers. So I got them glued together. In the final process, you come with a fork. You press it down. So I press, pull away. I press, pull away. I press, pull away. I press, pull away. Okay? That's simple. And it should look like that. Now we're going to take it to the stove and start frying our empanadas. Here I have my fire on medium low. Okay, these they cook very quickly, but you don't want them to burn. You want them to have that nice crisp, but at the same time, that even beautiful color. So cook it on medium low, guys. And every, I would say 20 seconds, you turn it. And you continue this process for at least about two minutes really um your empanadas will be fried up and beautiful here i'm turning them again like i said like every 20 seconds you turn them do not walk away from your empanadas because they cook very quickly so you want to be able to manage that so here's the beautiful color so these are done guys you see how beautiful they are? So we are getting ready to take it out and plate them. Look how beautiful that is, guys. And again, thank you very much for coming to my channel. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit that like button and the bell button. All right? And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.